Hey everybody, I hope you are having a fantastic day. I wanted to uh, compare a couple of Raspberry Pi cameras. And so what I have here is the Raspberry Pi camera version 2.1, which I've had for a few years. This was actually installed in an escape room as a security camera. And this one has the highest resolution of the bunch. It is 3280 by 2460, I believe, 2464. And uh, this one is kind of the de facto camera that you get for Raspberry Pis. This is actually, um, this is made in the People's Republic of China. This one has the Raspberry Pi logo and I do believe that it is legit. Um, I think I ordered this from a legitimate seller a few years ago. So um, I put this one to the test. And then second of all, I have this Key Studio, I believe makes this one. And this is a fisheye security camera. And I didn't buy this necessarily for the specs. I bought it because I wanted that little fisheye effect for another security camera project. And so uh, I bought this because I wanted to be able to see, you know, that little bit of a curve. I didn't want something that looked like you were actually looking through a fishbowl, but I wanted uh, just a little bit of that effect for a security camera. And then last but not least, I have this fancy schmancy. I don't even know who made it. I think it might be Maker Focus. But this is the um, Raspberry Pi night vision camera. And you can see it's got some photo cells on here and uh, connects the same way as the other ones. Now these last two here are 1080p, or at least that's the recommended resolution. So I decided to test them using the recommended resolution. So what I did is I set up each camera individually and um, placed it on the little sign over there and I took one shot with both my normal overhead lights on as well as my video light to give a well lit subject and then I turned off the overhead lights and just went with the uh, overhead lights that are in the room itself and what I'm calling the ambient light and then finally I turned all the lights off and just left my computer monitors which are about a meter to my left and uh, left those on but they're not shining directly in this area essentially it was pretty close to pitch black over here so let's take a look at the results when it comes to full lighting i'll show you from worst to first we have the night vision camera which still shows a lot of red and a lot of infrared on the image and then we go to the uh, fisheye camera which is good but is a little bit blurry in direct light and finally the Pi camera which looks a little weird in this because it's bigger than 1080p and not the same aspect as 1080p but um, it is clearly the clearest image. So the order of the cameras doesn't really change when we switch to ambient light. The uh, night vision camera is still clicking on the night vision way too early. The uh, fisheye camera is fine for the fisheye effect. You'll notice it's a little clearer in the center and gets blurrier to the outside. But the Pi camera is the clearest and the highest resolution in this test. So if you've been paying attention, you probably won't have a hard time figuring out which one's going to win here. The uh, Pi camera barely shows anything at all while the fisheye camera will give you some more ambient light due to its wider image area and finally the night vision camera shows up pretty nice in the dark so uh, to summarize it i'm glad i have all three cameras and i think there's a reason for each of them uh, but the overwhelming advice is to just choose the right camera for the right application thanks for watching have a great day